And you thought the mashed potatoes was ice cream. <laughs> Don't tell people that. <laughs> okay, but if you saw what I saw, it looks like that. <laughs> it looks like a scoop of ice cream with caramel sauce. But it was right beside the gravy, so I was like, why is there ice cream in the gravy? Yes. Yay! <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carol Adam, Canadian flight attendant. And for today's video, I actually have a very special guest with me. I've got Kenzie right over here. Kenzie, do you want to quickly just introduce yourself for my viewers? My name is Kenzie, <laughs> and I'm a Canadian flight attendant. <laughs> and I work with Coral. Perfect, she does have a YouTube channel as well too, and we're actually gonna upload another video on her YouTube channel. It's going to be a different video, and her channel is Kenzie Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's all it is, isn't it? <laughs> I think, you know what? Mine is very random because mine got edited, and then I looked at my, my YouTube, even though it says Carell's Wanderlust, when you look at the actual like at Carell's something. Oh yeah. Mine's at Ken's Rogers. I think mine I tried to edit it because mine has um Carell and then it has random numbers. <laughs> mine was Kenzie and random numbers. I switched it. Yeah, today's video, what we're gonna be doing is that we're actually gonna be eating in front of you, so we're gonna be doing a mukbang and we have some Filipino fast food which is Everyone knows about it. It's going to be Jollibee. So we got ourselves some fried chicken right over here. We also have some Filipino spaghetti. And I totally forgot to open this one up. Mm, what one's that? This one's the burger steak. Oh, it's not an actual burger. It's a burger patty. It's a, yeah. Yeah, there's no bun. Yeah, because it's a, it's like a burger steak with a mushroom gravy. That's how we eat it. Yeah. Then we have a burger steak right over here as well. And of course we had to get a peach mango pie because it's really popular and even Kenzie was actually told by another person to actually get it as well too. Yeah. And then we also got the pineapple quencher as well too. All right, so for today's video, her and I are actually going to be reacting to some flight attendant memes. We are going to be looking at two guys on a plane's Instagram account and we are just going to be reacting to some of their memes. Yeah, okay. Dude, that is so true. Okay, you guys have some <laughs> stories, like something that you've witnessed when you, like Catherine told me. Mm -hmm. She came home from the Bahamas, and her connecting was in Toronto, and there was a flight attendant sitting on the armrest of a man for the entire flight. She did service and then went back to the man. And then sat on the floor in the middle of the aisle. Maybe it's like flight attendant emergency descent. Anyway, if you guys don't know what I was talking about. So when we are like not, it's when we're not getting pressurized, right? So we have to drop down altitude for it, correct? It's when we're losing pressurization. Yeah. So we have to drop down altitude and that's what the pilots would say is flight attendant emergency descent. In progress. Yeah, in progress. And what we're expected to do is stop everything that we're doing. We can't talk, we try to, we want to save as much oxygen as we can. And if we cannot sit, if there's no empty seat close to us, then we have to sit on the floor. On the floor. <laughs> Secure ourselves. <laughs> in the middle of the galley, and if you've ever been on a Q400, I can barely walk down the aisle on without a hitting anyone. <laughs> without hitting anyone. Mm -hmm. And yeah. The only thing that I heard, I don't know if it was with you, actually, or you're the one who told me this, but. Apparently, like one time, <laughs> um, someone was flying with Delta, and then the Delta flight attendants don't even care about their guests if the guests manage to go to do a lavatory during descent. And the guests didn't leave the lavatory, not until after they landed. <laughs> I've never heard that. But that's mm -hmm. funny because um, one of our friends, mm -hmm. um, we just went on her bachelorette. Mm -hmm. She made the descent announcement, mm -hmm. and there was a passenger in the lab as she made it, like happens. Mm -hmm. And then she like does her checks, comes back to the lab, they're still in it, so she knocks. And like this, 
I, uh, I kind of remember if it was a girl or a boy, mm -hmm. but they timidly opened the door and I was like, can I go back to my seat? <laughs> because she was like, please, rain, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. I my brain is not working i'm focused on the spaghetti <laughs> and he was they thought that they couldn't leave the bathroom that would be so funny though can you imagine pranking them be like yeah i'm sorry unfortunately you have to <laughs> you got off at the wrong time buddy <laughs> oh my god this one's so true god. <laughs> is that not so true I don't know, I feel like it's very rare for me not to like anyone though. Oh. I only had this one person that I had like kind of, a, I don't know, a disagreement with and that's pretty much it. But at the end of the day, I guess like maybe this person just not having the greatest day, who knows. Okay, but everybody that you tell me you work with is somebody that I also like. Mm -hmm. I think you just have really good luck. Because there's mm -hmm. several people that I've worked with that I'm like... I can go without working with you again. Yeah. 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 Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I've seen it worse. I've seen a video on TikTok that literally drove me insane. Oh my god. So the video I saw on TikTok was this person behind her mm -hmm. had bare feet and the foot like because you know how like on our face there's that bar and her foot was over the bar and touched her foot. Someone's bare foot came under the seat and touched her Dude, foot. I don't understand why, where in the world they thought that they can do that though. Yeah, and like the second you feel something like a foot, you think you would move your own foot? People be wild. They crazy dude, it's fine. It's just like, I feel like ever since I started this job, this is gonna be for like lack of a better word to use, but it seems like I'm working at a zoo sometimes. Oh, a hundred percent. Well. People lose all common sense the second they get into an airport. Mm -hmm. This one. Even though like it's not relevant to us, but like you get the idea. Oh my god, that was so true. <laughs> <laughs> one time I was doing a Seattle turn. Everything was so delayed. We I was out of food. We barely had anything for, like for food wise. My coworker was like, let me take a look at what I have in my lunch kit. She's like, I have pretzels. <laughs> I was like, do it. That's the last thing I want right now. I don't want no pretzels. Okay. I find, mm -hmm. going back to the older ladies, I work with a Filipino who was like mid 40s, early 40s. And she would shove food down our throats. That's how Filipinos are. It's nice to go to a Filipino party, man. You're never going to be unsatisfied. Girl, You're gonna be I so full. Love a good Filipino party. This one literally happened to me. Do you remember that? Oh my god. They dude. literally forgot about us. They stranded us in Fire Bay. I got stuck in Vancouver mm -hmm. the last day of my pairing mm -hmm. during that snowstorm. Like, this was the 22nd of December. Oh, is that when you had multiple Vancouver ones? I was stuck in Vancouver for five days. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So I was stuck in, but the last night of that pairing, mm -hmm. I was this captain who, is like their manager, like he would be like their DPM, but he still flies. Oh wow! And so he picked up shifts to help out, mm -hmm. and we all got stuck, and he put it all on his company card. There was mm -hmm. six rooms he I put know. on his company card, and I'm like, praise mm -hmm. the Lord. Good. Now moment of truth. That's spicy. It is. <laughs> she cannot handle spice, just so you guys know, and we asked for original. I feel this with my friends that don't work in the airline industry. Because, like, I'll post on my story, I'll be like, I went from YXE to YC to YMM today, and mm -hmm. my friend will be like, so where'd you go? I know, I, I saw your story, but I don't know airport codes. And I'm like, <laughs> girl, you're really gonna make me type it all out? I was telling Max actually about it one time too. I was like, babe, you're gonna have to learn airport codes because I love this job. So that's gonna be your lifestyle now. I have a connection, am I gonna make it? Girl, this past pairing was nothing but delays, so I swear I had to add to that like 20 times a flight. Do you ever just tell them that you're not gonna make it? <laughs> yes, I have. I was like, 
Um, it says it left five minutes ago. <laughs> Again, I feel like this one's me and not you. I agree. I don't have, I don't make the facial expression, but I have a hard time controlling my face. I can in front of like customers, but the second I get to the gallery, like my eyes will roll into the back of my head. <laughs> And I have a story about it. This one's me? True. Oh, true. Okay. Okay, what's your story? So I was working with a female pilot mm -hmm. and she was on the phone with Cruise Gun. Mm -hmm. She said her name and she has a very girl name. So she was just telling me this. Because mm -hmm. she asked us if there was anything available for her to work. Mm -hmm. She's like, oh no, I don't see anything for flight attendants. Oh, and I was like no. rude about it. Oh. And she was a captain. If actually I'm a captain, you shouldn't just assume. I feel like people still haven't haven't gotten rid of the stigma that mm -hmm. if you're a pilot, it's supposed to be a male job. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that seemed that and that was so funny. <laughs> that is so true though. Well yesterday it was the first time mm -hmm. the captain came on the PA and was like flight attendants be seated for turbulence. Mm -hmm. And we were already sitting, mm -hmm. but then they all start looking at us and then looking out the window and looking at us. And I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know what you want me to do. They think we're gonna be the next manifest. Mm hmm. Like, like, number one, we're not waitresses. Like, we're not there to serve you. Girl. And then they would find us too, and they'd be like, you good, you good, can you work? <laughs> and then when you're the one looking for work, they don't have anything for you. Because when you don't want to work, they have something yeah. for you. Mm. Or tell you how to open the bathroom door. <laughs> Is that not true? That's not true though. Like, I have never seen so many grown adults not struggle knowing. to turn a door handle. It's a million times yes. The amount of times I'll stand in the back, I'll be like, so all the bins that are closed are full. And they still open the bin. I'm like, did I stutter? I hate it when they don't shut it. I know, like you literally open it, see that it's full, like I said, and then you leave it open. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since I heard the story um, of the Beer Atlas falling on the girl's head. What happened to her now? Like her? I don't know. She's fine, I think. I don't know. She's alive. I hope. I had a wine spill all over me from like the bar at last. Twice to me. I thought I was went, the only one! It went during like the landing? Yes! I was like, what is going on so big? And then you smell like a bar floor. I'm just gonna randomly like scroll and see where it takes me. I get so butthurt when people don't reply to me. You know what's worse? This is when they have you out trash and like, you have garbage. Okay, this will be our last one. But... <laughs> so, okay. I was making jokes with this pilot. I'm not gonna mention his name, but him and I are like decent friends. We've worked together a couple times already that we have gotten to a point that I know when it's him landing the plane. And one time I knew it was him landing it. I was like, I was like, you landed it, didn't you? And he just laughed and then he didn't say yes or no. And I take that as a yes. So anyway, I had this one guest <laughs> who left the aircraft. I say, have a good day, thank you, whatnot. Didn't say it back to me, just kept walking. Out. And I looked at him and I was like, it's probably because of your landing then. <laughs> it has to be your landing. She was smiling to me during service. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video and find it really entertaining to just react to memes. And we will see you on the next one. Make sure to check out the video that we're gonna be uploading on Kenzie's YouTube channel as well. And we're gonna be filming a Q&A. Mm -hmm. Our next video together is gonna be a Q&A about flight attending, anything related to like our lives as flight attendants, like anything in that realm. So make sure you comment below any questions you guys have. Perfect. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Oh, make sure you follow 
Kenzie as well too for all my viewers. She has really amazing content that she does post about flight attending as well. And we're gonna be filming a Q&A, mm -hmm. our next video together. It's gonna be a Q&A about flight attending, anything related to like our lives as flight attendants, like anything in that realm. So make sure you comment below any questions you guys have. Oh, make sure you follow Kenzie as well too for all my viewers. She has really amazing content that she does post about flight attending as well too. Bye! Bye.